just like you can become house poor by buying a huge house and not having enough money to fill the house up with, you can also become road poor by buying a large rig and spending a ton of money on the road and not having enough money to enjoy your destination once you get there. So in today's episode, we traveled 1,500 miles from Columbia, Missouri to Phoenix, Arizona. And along the way, we're gonna share with you some of our best tips on how you can stretch your dollar even further while you're on the road so you can enjoy your destination when you get there. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Welcome back to No Ordinary Path, I am Kristen and this is Wendy behind me. My husband John is a travel nurse. We have three kids and a dog and we travel the whole country chasing travel nurse jobs. It's been amazing. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you're brand new, hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment because we would love to welcome you to our channel. Traveling between Columbia, Missouri and Phoenix, Arizona took us six days just shy of one week, and yet we're breaking them into three episodes because we crammed so much in. So if you missed last week, make sure you check it out up here. It was leaving Columbia in a snowstorm and arriving into Kansas City. We had so many problems we had to deal with and we were so happy to finally get on the road and further south to where the weather was a little bit warmer. Today, we're gonna to bring you our journey through Oklahoma and Texas, and let's talk about how we save some money. Seven degrees and climbing. Woohoo! Uh, we had sunshine for like a hot minute and it's gone now. Back to the fog and rain and cloudy skies, but uh, here's hoping it clears up past Wichita. Avoid tolls when possible. There's this great feature on Google Maps or probably whatever navigation system that you use that is an option that allows you to avoid toll roads. I would strongly recommend doing that. They don't seem like they would be that expensive, but they add up fast, especially when you have extra axles. I knew that there was a toll road, but we were on a time schedule, so we pushed through as quickly as we could. Well, it turns out that just for that little piece of, of stretch on I-35, it cost us about $20 between the truck and rig and my van in the middle of Kansas. <laughs> the East Coast is one thing. Kansas is another. So watch out for tolls and plan your trip accordingly. When you leave your wallet and your coat inside the RV and you get to a toll, then the hubs just leaves his credit card in the slot for me to pull up right behind him. <laughs> There's not even like an attendant here to help. So oh, I have no cash, no credit card. I don't even have a license right now. It's all in the RV. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> All right, uh, I gotta figure out how to do this. Here's a tip, when you stop to go to the restroom, we suggest that you use your own restroom in your RV instead of going into the gas station. Do not go in, don't do it. If you can avoid it, do not go in to the gas station, why? because you or your children or your spouse will find something to buy. So what Mama, we do. We're hungry, Mom. So what are we gonna do about that? What are we gonna do? Mom. What, what should we do about being hungry? I wanna go in the trailer and get a snack. Okay, we're gonna go in the trailer oh. and get a snack. Instead of going into the convenience store where we'll be very tempted to purchase sugar. sugar. Junk food is what I was gonna say. Make sure you do all of the maintenance on your vehicles before you hit the road, and make sure you're regularly checking all the maintenance. Preventative care is the best way to not run into trouble on the road. You don't wanna get a blown tire. You can prevent a lot of things by making sure that you uh, take care of your tires and your oil changes. We love Valvoline because we can just roll right in and they change our oil and then we don't even have to get out of the car. 
And they also have all of our records and they top everything off. So if, you, if you're in between oil changes, you can go have things topped off. Ooh, the sun's disappearing fast. <laughs> and then we also love Discount Tire. All of our tires on both vehicles and Wendy are from Discount Tire. Um, this is because they have a really great program and they treat us really well when we have issues with our tires. They rotate them for free and uh, we have all of them are on a like a warranty type of, of plan in case they blow out or go bad before they should. On this trip, we did stop in Wichita, which was really funny because there was not a discount tire in Columbia, Missouri, and there was in Kansas City, but unfortunately we were only in Kansas City on Sunday, the day they were closed. Um, so we ended up making an appointment in Wichita and we were so bummed that we missed seeing a good friend of KYD, Missy. We were going to meet up with her and we just unfortunately um, couldn't make the time slots work. So we're sorry we missed you, Missy, next time, okay? Next time. Screen time? You know what? Here's my philosophy on screen time. I do not think it's the devil. I think that screen time can be totally useful and in times like this when we're ah! on a super long road trip, I don't care how long they spend on the screen time. I heard you say that. <laughs> Trust me, they have so many other learning opportunities. I'm not about to feel the mom guilt about all the screen time right now. Tell her what we're at. We're at Discount Tire. And mommy, mommy, for lunch, Mommy voted Chipotle. I did vote Chipotle for lunch. Mm, that sounds yummy. Oh. No shoes. It's Wendy with no shoes. save money on your stays. We purposely routed ourselves through Oklahoma City so that we could visit a cousin of mine and aunt and uncle and family who live in Oklahoma City. Now we did not plan on staying or mooch docking at their house, but we did want to go visit them and graciously they offered their street curb for us to mooch dock and it worked out so great. It was so fun to get to catch up with them and then we had coffee and breakfast with them in the morning and it was wonderful. Our plan was originally to stay at Cracker Barrel. I'd say it was much better experience staying at their house which was awesome but that's a great tip for you to plan your route through places where you know people live and then if you feel comfortable asking them maybe just ask if you can stay on their street for one night or something I know this might not come as a shock to some people but I haven't seen gas under two dollars in so long Oklahoma City you rock on our way out of Oklahoma City we had a great time last night and now it is 53 degrees and overcast but I promised some sunny weather and 70 degrees in Amarillo which is where we're heading right now. I did see this village. I actually got it on video. Oh great yes well that's what happens and why I wear these. Don't worry everybody it wasn't black. I still have yet and two years to have a Punami incident <laughs> but that was what happens when the gray valve freezes open and it's, you know, I closed it a couple of days, well, day yesterday yeah. when we got to warmer climate, but there's still a little bit left in between the cap and where that valve is and that's what spilled out. So it's the thawed gray water. Yeah, it's just thawed gray water. I thought you might want this. Yeah, well, I wash my hands. With water. It's still. <laughs> Ew. I still need to wash them with like, soap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to wash them with soap. This is not going to cut it. Of 
course, another great way to save money is to plan your meals ahead of time and make make sure that you have gone grocery shopping first and kind of do some meal prep in advance. Now for us, I have some really great ideas for meal prep and uh, easy meals to do while you're boondocking and I feel like I need to do a separate video on that in the future. So watch for that one because we have a, a lot of go-to meals that we do on the road and so we just made sure that we had things with us and that we weren't too tempted to go out to eat. Your, your RV before you leave. This might seem like a no-brainer, but I know that sometimes you can get real busy right before you leave, but make it a priority to go shopping at places like Walmart or Aldi if you have an Aldi around and stock up on a whole bunch of your favorite road snacks, healthy road snacks, I might add. You don't want a bunch of sugar bopping around in the car in your back seat. If you're trying to follow a diet or you're trying to eat healthy, this is a really excellent way to stay on track and not like veer off into road trip junk food land. I thought I would share with you a couple of things to snack on if you're a low carb or keto pickles. These are oh snap pickles. Super I crunchy, like, very I tasty. Like Even Chloe likes them. Next, I have Parmesan crisps. These are jalapeno flavor. I don't like them. Yeah, these are really good too. They satisfy my chip craving. And to go with that, I have these little miniature guacamole cups. Really good. Next, dry roasted almonds. Individual serving sizes is very helpful. Cheese sticks. I like those too. I know, she likes them too. I'm, I'm sensing a theme. Chloe's liking all of my keto-friendly food. Uh, to drink, I have some uh, soda water. I don't like those. I know, you don't like those. But that helps quench my like desire for more than just water. But I also have my water. I like that one. And beef sticks. These are my favorite. We have just And of course, sunflower seeds. This like helps keep my mouth busy when I really want to eat snacks. Hey, that's all of my snacks. I'm ready to go. Let's do this. We had to stop here. This is Cadillac Ranch where there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten buried Cadillacs in oh. the middle of a random field right next to the highway. They're drilled in the ground. They're drilled in the ground. I never knew about this place until I started watching YouTube channels about RV travelers. <laughs> right? I've never heard of it and before. We've seen a lot of our like favorite channels and stuff that we watch have come here and done things like spray paint their logos and stuff. So it's kind of neat that we're here visiting a place that other people have visited that we watch too. So yeah. uh, that's cool to me. That is really cool. And for all of you trying to stretch your dollar, it's 100% free. Free. Just stop and take a look. You don't even have to spray paint. It's pretty cool just to look at and take some pictures of. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes If I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Aaron climbed on top of some wet paint in his fairly new black sweatpants So wear clothes you don't care about Bring a trash bag because people litter so much and it drives me crazy and it's really easy to pick them up and there's dumpsters available and you can help out by picking some up and dumping them on your way out. You don't have to bring spray paint. There were there was lots of half empty cans of or half full cans of spray paint. <laughs> Pessimist. <laughs> yeah. Uh, to use. So you don't really need to go buy your own spray paint. Come at sundown because the lighting is really good. Falling down, 
down I will keep on searching for my high In case you're wondering, Hereford, Texas you smells like I dirty house mind, I will keep on holding <laughs> yeah. my head high Even if the sky is falling down One of the best ways that we have found to try to save money while you're out traveling around is to get on a website called freecampsites.net. On occasion, you will find these gems in certain cities that are RV parks with free hookups. Free campsites, boondocking will save you a ton of money, but also finding little gems like this will do the same. is going away I have to say good night but I wanted to thank you so much for watching and I hope that these tips have helped you if you have any other really great money-saving tips please list them below in the comments because this could be a really great resource for other people to look at and get some ideas so that they don't arrive at their destination broke <laughs> stay tuned for next week as we take you through New Mexico and into Arizona for our final stretch of our trip to Phoenix you won't want to miss it we're going through Carlsbad Caverns and White Sands both were amazing and we found quite a bit of adventure along the way thanks again for being here and we'll see you out there even if the sky is falling down even if the sky is falling